Hi, this is guitarist Dennis Tape, and I'm in my home studio, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Music Gear. Now, obviously, on Bargain Bin Music Gear, we look for bargain gear, right? That's inexpensive and yet does a job and that kind of thing. In the past, especially when it comes to accessories, right, such as music stands that hold your guitar, guitar stands, right, the temptation, and I've done it, is, you know, they show you these budget guitar stands, you know, like $10 or even under $10, and, um, you know, they they work, but they're flimsy most of the time, you know. Or, even worse, they basically, they don't last. And here's a perfect example. There's one, right? Um, and, wow, I don't even think I can get this thing open anymore. There we go. Now, take a look at this. All right, so the padding is all worn off here, and this thing is bent down almost to the ground, so you gotta kind of bend it up or what have you. Uh, on the other side, it's totally broken off; it's not even there anymore. So obviously, this is no good anymore. This is, you know, this isn't gonna hold a guitar. Uh, but it was inexpensive, you know, and it lasted a while. But it's kind of a throwaway, you know? This is it. I mean, basically, I might as well just throw this away. There's no point in keeping it. In fact, why is it here? I don't know. Okay. So, anyway. So, I got that kind of thing. The other one is the, the guitar stand that has multiple parts and you have to put it together. All right, those are just junk, man. They're terrible. And one of the big problems with that is that they, um, you know, parts go missing. I see this all the time. In fact, just the other day I was in a thrift store and I saw one of those, you know, tubular guitar stands. And sure enough, you know, it had parts missing. You know, that kind of thing. Mm. And usually, I, you know, I... I I'm a big fan of budget gear, but I, from personal experience, uh, one place I wouldn't skimp on is the actual guitar stand, believe it or not. And you would think, oh, well, that just doesn't make any difference, but it does. Um, even mentally, if you like, uh, it makes you feel, if you've got a good guitar stand, it makes you feel different about the instrument. You know, um, knowing that's secure, you know, on the stand and when you pick it up and things. You know, uh, and one of the best guitar stands that I've tried, you know, and, and have purchased is the Fender Deluxe hanging guitar stand you know um, and the reason is it's not the super flimsy you know kind of a you know stand at all um, you know it's, it's pretty solid now of course there's saps out there and they've got this gigantic bass you know <laughs> say well I don't know if it'll hold my bass up correctly Granted, okay, but for a normal guitar, I like it to electric guitar, it's plenty of space. And, um, well, I like this stand so much that I bought another one. That's right, I went out and splurged, and not only that, I bought it new, not even used. And not only that, I bought it from a local music store. And they gave me a better price than I would have found online. And I'm talking 
at the big retailers, you know, um, Guitar Center, Zounds, American Musical Supply, Sweetwater, so on and so on. So it's a really good deal I couldn't pass up, first of all. But if it's the same as the stand that I got, uh, it's well worth it, and they seem to last. You know, and they're not this flimsy thing. You know, the flimsy guitar stands, half the time I'd lose some of the parts so it wouldn't work anymore. Um, or I'd end up knocking it over, you know, and the guitar would end up being, you know, on the floor and that kind of thing. So, I went ahead and splurged, and I can honestly say, I mean, I got it for basically the price of a budget stand, you know. Um, basically half the price that Guitar Center charges for it, new, you know. And this, you can buy them all day long from them. From the local music store, so I was really impressed by that. Um, so yes, I could have bought a less expensive stand, you know, like a eight dollar, twelve dollar, you know, tubular, you know, no name guitar stand or or an Amazon Basic type deal, and. It would have worked for a while, for sure. But it really, it, it really does make you think differently of your instrument, you know. Um, anyway, I really liked the first one, so I went ahead and got a second one. And I haven't even opened it yet. So here we have an official unboxing video very important so here it is brand new brand spanking new here it is right and let's see what we get here so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box right now I even got scissors. Because there's a sticker here. We're going to go ahead and be very careful not to damage the box. There we go. <sighs> Incredibly difficult. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow. Look at this. I've actually opened the box. Here it is. And I think for what you get, it's really inexpensive. Now, let's see how it is here. Inside the box, it's nicely wrapped. And here's what you'll notice right off the bat. Right? There's, there's nothing to piece together, okay? It's already ready to go. You know? That's what would drive me nuts is I buy these guitar stands, right? And you'd have to get this tube part and install it here and so you know, and, and talk about flimsy cheapo. Here it is. It's all one piece, ready to go. And well, that's about all there is. There's nothing else in the box, that's it. Here it is. You get this finely wrapped um, stand in plastic wrapping. And by the way, for those who don't know, uh, I'm actually uh, American and French. I have dual nationality. And I have cousins in France. And I remember I was visiting in France one and they they laughed at me uh, because they th they thought uh, from seeing everything in grocery stores you know that it's um, wrapped in plastic 
right? So they would always say, a su plastique, right? In other words, under, to translate under plastic, right? Because to them it was very foreign, you know. In, in, in France, when you go to a, a market, you know, the, um, and you buy hamburger or, or whatever, you know, it's not all nicely wrapped under plastic. So here, this is wrapped in plastic. Anyway, all right, let's get to it. So here it is, and it's ex identical to the one that I purchased before, right? And that is just awesome. Here you go. Now, granted, you know, I mean, this is this is plastic, and I suppose if you're not careful, I suppose that could break over time. I don't know. Never happened to me, you know. But I'm not sticking, you know, a huge base on it, which some people do, I guess. Um, and basically, you just unfold the the legs right here, right? And I guess you, right here you can undo that to fold it up. And here. Now, the, the, I guess the one downside is that it takes it takes up a lot of space, really. You know, and you've got these three things. And basically, the guitar is here. If it's a big guitar, it usually, you know, kind of sits on these rubber legs. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so that's the legs, and I mean, if you didn't want it to take up some real estate, I suppose you could make it, you know, come up a little higher if you wanted to. And we'll try that. Yeah, so you could do something like that if you wanted to. You know, that would work fine too. And then just screw that in, it'll take up a little less space. And then here, you have one lever, right? And that adjusts the height of the of the guitar and it holds the neck here. Right? It's got the heavy duty plastic or plastic, I'm sorry, styrofoam or rubber I mean. Yeah, to hold the guitar in place here. And depending on the width of the guitar neck, it's got two little plastic or rubber spacers that you can remove if you want to. Okay. So here it is. Let's put it down. I'm going to try it here. And there it is. I've got the guitar set up, and, you know, you can adjust it however you want. There it is. So that's the guitar on the stand there. And it's holding the neck well. Okay. So there it is. That's the Fender Deluxe Hanging Guitar Stand. Um, it's pretty fancy, but it's very nice. Um, it's going to last a long time. It's very solid. You don't have to put anything together. Like those cheapo, you know, foldable, you know, tubular stands, what have you. And those I never had much luck with anyway. And this is great. Uh, um, the guitar is solidly on there. Um, you know, so there's no risk of damage to the guitar. Um, you can buy these new, I know, Guitar Center, they're thirty nine ninety nine. Um and if you look around, you can probably find them for less than that. You know, as I said, my local music store here had them for, you know, a little less than that. And I got a 15% discount on top of that. Um, so, great. Um, 
Anyway, what I'm saying is, uh, perhaps it costs more, a little more than, you know, the cheapo stand, but I think it's well worth it. <coughs> you know, and it's not that much, much more money-wise, you know. And we're talking maybe, you know what, ten, fifteen dollars more, you know, than the than the standard, you know, generic tubular stand. Um, but it, it's just so solid, and really, um, yeah, I'm just knocked out by these. I just think they look great, and the the guitar looks great on them, and it's nice and secure, you know. Uh, a lot harder to knock over in that thing if you're walking by it or that kind of thing. Those little tubular ones, man. You know, the little generic ones where you put them together and things. Um, doesn't take much to knock them over. This is, you know, because it's got three legs there. It really is, you know, I mean, you'd have to really run into it really quite aggressively to get it to fall over and things. So, um, you know, while some things, you know, are kind of extravagant, you don't really need to spend the money, <coughs> you know, beyond what a generic one could do. But I think in this case, it is well worth the money. You know, um, very nice. And, you know, you could fit a bass on there, an acoustic, an electric, and that kind of thing. So I am very, very, very pleased. This was quite a major purchase. I usually don't splurge like this very often. But since it's the holidays, you know, and they had a big stack of them, well, and they gave me 15% off on top of that. And their starting price was so good to begin with. So, in any case, here it is. Highly, highly recommended. Um, and as you saw, there's no freaking, you know, you don't have to put it together. That always drove me nuts when you have to freaking, you know, you buy the stand, you've got to put it together. And, you know, and half the time you'd lose one of the parts or that kind of thing. It's just not worth the hassle, you know. And here, this is plenty solid. You know. In any case, it's my favorite guitar stand. And, quite frankly, I think anything beyond this is kind of overkill, really. Unless you have, you know, some five or $6,000 guitar or whatever. You know, very cool. Now I did something, I did see something kind of sappy. I'd never seen this before. They have a guitar case. It's a hard shell guitar case. Right? And one side of it is see-through and actually has a guitar hanger inside of it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about you. That's, you know, I guess you can, the idea is you can have the guitar displayed inside the case and still have it protected by the case. I don't know. I, you know, that's, that's weird to me. You know, and, and I mean, usually I don't go for, you know, knickknacks and little accessories that are super expensive and so on. Um, but in this case, it, it, I'm telling you, it's really worthwhile and it makes a difference. And, I mean, you can just tell the, you know, usually on those little adjustable stands, the, you know, the metal tubing is about that big here. You're talking that big. And, and just the way it's designed, it, it's well designed. You know, on those little ones, man, half the time your guitar is going like this, you know, kind of wobbling and things. Here it's a nice solid feel, you know, as long as you have the feet down, of course. So anyway, highly, highly recommended. 
uh, even makes you think and feel differently about the instrument every time you pick it up, you know, on there. Um, so, yeah, and I was knocked out by the first one, and, and same thing here again, you know. I mean, I, so I own two of these now, you know, and they're not extravagantly expensive, you know, either. And, you know, when we're talking, you know, $15 difference. Um, but the jump in quality is, is astoundingly massive, really. You know. All right. Anyway, before I leave, I want to say this is one of the best purchases of the year for me. Believe it or not. You know? And I mean, I've done it before where I bought these the little adjustable generic stands, right? You know? And they just don't last, man. They're, you know? So, it's kind of like something I had to rebuy you know, a couple months down the road is, you know, and here it's just not the case. I mean, I've had this other one for quite a while, you know, and not once have I regretted buying it at all. I mean, it's really been a solid purchase, so, you know, I mean, I don't have any kind of, you know, Fender endorsement, or you know, I'm not trying to sell it on you. I'm just saying, if you want to uh, buy a guitar stand, this is the one I would recommend. You know, um, I mean, I've, I've seen some where they get kind of stupid, and you know, it's like a hundred dollars and things, and it's not that much different than this at all, you know. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't do that. I'd rather spend that on, you know, other gear, if you like. Um, but for the price and what you're getting and the way it's designed, highly recommended. All right. See you next time. Bye.